Hello, everybody, and welcome to this brief presentation to inform you about the minor in international development studies at the University of Amsterdam, offered at the Department of Geography, Planning, and International Development. My name is Courtney Vagelin. I am the coordinator for the minor international development studies, and I'm also the program director for the master and the research master in international development studies, and I'm a lecturer in uh, international development studies. Um, I'm very pleased that you've uh, chosen to watch this presentation today. Um, hopefully it will spark your interest in international development studies, and maybe it will also lead you to some questions about it, and you can of course contact me um, at a later stage if you have them. So what do we study in international development? Um, I think international development is a very exciting field. I think it becomes actually more exciting all the time, just as it becomes more challenging. Um, in the field, we look at topics like poverty and inequality, exclusion, but also inclusion. We look at the meaning of economic growth as it relates to um, enhancements and improvements in human development. Um, and we also consider the questions about what are the most important ways to approach development? What do people around the world want when they think about development? What does one part of the world say about inequality compared to another part of the world? How does one part of the world interpret poverty compared to another part of the world? And how do those different parts of the world come together to make decisions about how to improve, in the end, people's livelihoods and human well-being? Um, some of the big things, themes we address in the minor um, are portrayed here on this slide. Um, you see at the top the transition from the Millennium Development Goals, which expired in 2015, to the Sustainable Development Goals, which were then implemented in 2015, um, the SDGs. You've probably all heard about them, know a little bit about them. That would likely be the case if you're interested in taking a minor in international development studies. But if you don't know about them, that's not a problem. You will learn about them for sure. Um, as you can see here, here, there are 17 goals. They cover a range of, uh, a large range of um, aspects of human life, environmental uh, well-being. Um, they, they talk about the role of institutions, of governments, of different types of actors, private sector actors, the role that each of these actors should play in development, and how we can, with a lot of work, come together and make good decisions about how we should proceed in the world uh, to make sure that we treat it well and that people are happy and healthy. Um, I think it's a good moment to raise the point that it's probably an interesting time to take this course uh, starting in the fall, given the, the fact that we are experiencing a global health crisis. There is an incredible amount of work taking place right now um, since the global health crisis started relating topics of international development to the global health crisis. And I expect we'll be focusing on that more than we have in the past in the coming semester. Another picture you see here is, the, uh, is taken from an Oxfam report in 2016 talking about an economy for the 1%. Um, this report is largely about global inequality and the very wide gap between the wealthy and the poor in the world. And uh, it looks at the issues around it, uh, about, around it but also at the uh, ways we can start to address it. Uh, the picture on the right in the middle is taken from the Amazon and obviously depicts uh, uh, the destruction of the rainforests. Um, some of the things we talk about in this course uh, will give us insights into the context in which those decisions are made to actually cut down the rainforest, who's included in those decisions, who's left out, um, what the influences are um, over the decision-making process, and of course, uh, the outcomes of this for both people and nature. And at the bottom right, you see also a, a figure that shows um, a little bit uh, the relationship between the global north and the global south. This picture shows how the structure of international aid has actually had the long-term impact of bringing more money out of the global south rather than putting money into the global south. 
and um, this this actually over time continues to reinforce the inequality, the wealth inequality between these parts of the world. And one of the things we look at in this course is um, how this structure of aid has developed and how it's maintained over time. So let's get to the details of the program. Um, the minor is 30 credits, as are all the minors actually in the bachelor program. It can be combined with any other study. We have usually a large group of students coming from the social sciences, um, from political science, future planet studies, anthropology, human geography, communication, um, but also from economics, from law, from literature, pedagogy, or educational studies. So you can see already there's a relatively broad multidisciplinary interest in the, pro in the minor. It can also be interesting for students even outside of the social sciences or of the, these other uh, disciplines mentioned above. Um, students from the medical sciences or from biology or physics um, have joined the minor. Um, the motivation has been usually to learn about issues of, of poverty and inequality that define the conditions in which their own research um, and scholarly development uh, takes place. Um, so it can be interesting for a number of reasons. Um, we like to think about the opportunities that this minor provides. Um, first of all, uh, stemming from the, the slide that we just saw, um, it's an opportunity to see how different academic fields are interrelated. The multidisciplinary character of international development studies is quite uh, important, and I think something that students experience in a very motivating way to see how different forms of knowledge are constructed from different types of sciences and how they come together around certain issue areas. Um, another opportunity is to learn about and contribute from a broad and international perspective to debates on development, poverty, inequality, and problems associated with the environment and climate change. So there's a broad range of topics that we talk about. And again, we can talk about them from a number of different perspectives, usually because of the diverse uh, student body. Um, another opportunity is to familiarize yourself about what is needed to be a development practitioner. This doesn't mean that we offer courses in the practice of development, but rather that you become familiar with the types of issues, the debates, the uh, priorities that are set in the uh, practice of development, either by governments, by NGOs, by other institutions, by private sector actors, and how they, let's say, support each other, but also more often come into conflict with each other. And also, uh, the minor is an opportunity to prepare yourself um, if you're interested in taking the master or the research master in international development studies. There are several objectives that are cross-cutting throughout the minor in all the courses. Um, and these include the following, to understand past and present approaches in international development. Uh, the second is to understand the changing role of different actors involved in development. Um, personally, I find this one of the most exciting aspects, and it really doesn't matter which issue area you're looking at or which topical area, if it's education or the environment. Um, the range of actors is changing all the time, and the influence that different actors have is also changing. This ranges from new private sector actors to student activists and changing roles of, uh, for the governments. The third point is uh, to understand how the geographies of inequality and political geography contribute to knowledge about development issues. So bringing fields together. And the fourth point is to provide in-depth knowledge on some specific er issue areas within development studies. And this is done both within the introductory course to international development and in the electives. The core course of the minor is the Introduction to Development Studies. Um, this is a compulsory course. You have to take it if you decide to take the minor. It's offered in English. It's offered two times a year, which can be convenient. So it, uh, you can plan it uh, in the semester that works best for you. Um, it includes the history of development and looks at major theories and approaches. It also includes a chapter, well, the book that you see here includes chapters on poverty, inequality, gender, the SDGs, climate change and the environment, urban development, and a range of other topics. 
Generally, the course is organized around two-hour lectures and two-hour seminars um, each week. We often have guest lectures in this course, which is very nice, um, both for um, being exposed to different expertise in the field and also being ex exposed to practitioners in the field. Um, in this way, you, you strike a nice balance, which is rather important in international development studies. Um, the scholarly work is closely related, related to the practice of development. So having these guests come in and make those bridges clearer to us is very nice. Um, the assignments uh, in this course uh, usually consist of a midterm, a final, and one in-class presentation. And what you see here to the right, what I mentioned briefly before, is the textbook that's usually used in this course. Um, students have been very happy with it for the last couple of years. Um, I expect a new edition will be coming soon. Um, until then, we're going to continue to use it because of the wide range of topics that it covers. Here is an overview of the courses that are included in the minor. Um, you can see this table shows uh, what you can take in the first semester, so in block one, block two, and block three, and what you can take in the se second semester, block four, block five, and block six. In both semesters, you have the International Development Studies introductory course. Um, and then you can choose uh, in the first semester between either the geographies of inequality or introduction to conflict studies, both of which um, are closely related to the general themes of international development studies. Um, but then you can decide for yourself um, what you find more interesting. The elective that's offered in Block 3 is the Environment and International uh, Sustainable Development course. Um, and then in the second semester, we have um, a choice between political geography and, again, introduction to conflict studies. And in Block 6, um, you, can opt, you can take the Education and International Development course. So it, at an early stage, it's good to decide for yourself if you're more interested in uh, an elective about the environment or an elective about education. Um, and then based on those, you can plan on when it's best for you to, pursue, uh, to take the minor. After the minor, um, later on, when you've graduated from your bachelor program, um, there are two master's programs that we offer here that may be of interest to you. Um, the Master in International Development Studies, which is a one-year program, and the Research Master, which is a two-year program. And what you see here are just a couple of photos that our, our students have taken while conducting field work as part of these programs, um, which maybe sparks your interest in, a little bit in what the possibilities are. Uh, this concludes the presentation. I hope that it was able to answer some questions for you uh, about the minor. Um, here is my email address on this slide. Please feel free to contact me. And I look forward to hearing from you and maybe meeting you in the fall.